with T quotes and I just had a long arm oopsie on my sewing machine and so I thought I would show you that in the first part of this video so I'm going to go ahead and show you that and then I will come back with the rest of this video I thought that I would share a long arm oopsie I when I put my backing on I normally roll all the way onto my back leader and then I rotate and roll all the way back to the front top leader then if I have wrinkles, I may do the water thing where I spray. And so I did that because this backing piece had a lot of wrinkles in it. And I'm actually putting two quilts onto this one piece of backing. But the backing was a leftover piece that wasn't long enough to put them both lengthwise. So I am putting them right after each other as I roll them down. Well... I was letting this last section dry and I just came in today from and <laughs> I forgot to roll my backing back so I am quilting a panto and I have already stitched my first partial row and then I quilted a second row and then I was on my way going back on the middle of the actual second full row and notice that I had all of this material still wound up here now I have a lot of quilting on this piece to go I think I'm going to be about five to ten inches short of backing so I could take all of the stitching out which I don't want to do because it would take me longer to do that than it would be for me to just continue quilting when I get to the point where I can't stitch anymore, I'm going to leave about, say, 5 to 10 inches of backing. And that way, I can just sew a seam and add a piece onto here once I take everything off the frame. And then just come back and re-hook this second piece that I need to re-quilt on this one. And put my second quilt top on. But I just thought that I would share that with you because things do happen. And yeah, it's no fun. And I don't want to spend hours plucking out stitches when I can just spend maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most, just cutting this backing and adding the top piece back down to the bottom. The next pictures are showing you where I have sewn my seam onto the long arm and now I have my piece reattached and then I added my second quilt I went ahead and quilted down so you can see where I have my second quilt now added and it's right after the first quilt on the frame and so I just wanted to let you see that I did put the whole thing back on the frame so now I'm going to go ahead and show you some video of the popcorn which is the popcorn large panto that I did with this quilt top I think it's going to be my new panto for charity quilts because it quilts up very fast and I do like the actual stitching on this polyester batting. It does do a nice job of giving it some detail but not being too fluffy. So I just wanted to show you some of this stitching and then I will do a little bit more talking when we get into the stitching.
right now we're at the end of the quilt and I'm just showing you on my Gamo Vision 2.0 that it will stitch in the reverse order so it can stitch from left to right as well as stitch from right to left. And I've heard some people say that their long arms do not like to stitch in the opposite direction and I'm just showing you just a little bit here that the machine will stitch in either directions very well. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell. And please share my YouTube channel with your quilting friends. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, everybody.